Whereas meditation, true meditation, is not a doing, but it's the realization of being. And there's no time in being. Simple realization that you are. This is why I, do, 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 some techniques are fine. Eventually, every technique you have to let go, like a raft. Buddha, Buddhism has a, the image of a, the analogy or the story of a raft that you use to cross a river. You use a raft to cross a river. When you've crossed the river, you don't take up the raft and carry it around with you. So the raft is a technique or the teaching that can take you there, perhaps. But once you're there, you realize you don't need it. So whatever technique you use in meditation, eventually it is to be transcended. Or you can transcend it right now without any technique. We get to a place where we need to control. We need to resist the things in life. We need to change the situation outside ourselves. But why? Why is there this intrinsic desire inside most humans for their outer world to be different than it is? Learning to just be, as Eckhart Tolle says in his video, as he talks about meditation strategies and, and how those strategies are a training for what we should be living in every moment, not just during the meditation, but the ability to just be when it comes to everyday living. And one of the largest areas that we get an opportunity to practice this is in our relationships with others. When the actions of the people around us don't vibe with our idea in our mind. And our mind thinks it knows everything and it thinks it has all the solutions for ourselves and for everyone in our lives. And we find we're wanting to change, we're resisting to change, or we're wanting to control and manipulate the circumstances around us quite frequently in our lives. And when you learn to practice your meditation, your presence, just being, you learn to watch the inner weather about what's happening inside yourself. And inside yourself, you're having these storms and you're having these heartbreaks and you're having these headaches and you're having worry, thoughts, energy, and all of this is your, um, your weather patterns, your good days, your bad days, your stormy days. And, so and instead of living a life where we're trying to keep everything in the outside world in place so that we don't have inner storms and inner issues that we need to face and deal with, we're living an exhausting life of, of resisting, of controlling and manipulating and causing problems in our lives with the people that we love. When you just stop and recognize that the storm is coming up inside yourself, you know, your heart, this feels so painful, but if you're just able to learn to be really that place of presence, who you really are in this, in this non-duality where everything, even those feelings, even the actions of others, even it's all just presence, if it's all just one perfect, beautiful life symphony that's happening. And this life symphony is happening for your perfect growth and evolution of your being, of your soul, the perfect opportunity for you to learn to let go of all the things that no longer serve you in your life. So any thought or feeling inside you that causes these storms, emotional storms, you know, envy, jealousy, lack, those, those come from a place of lack. They come from a lack of abundance. If we keep feeling those and we keep having these experiences, we never get the opportunity to have an abundant life where we don't, we're not lacking the things we need. And we don't need to look at anyone else. Oh, look at how many views he has on his new his YouTube channel. <laughs> wow, I would like to get more than two views on a video. <laughs> you know, there's, there's always something we could look for, want, want more. Um, 
you know, there's always something that we would like to be different than it is, but this ability to just be this life of non-resistance, this life of non-duality, which, you know, what is non-duality? Duality is when you see yourself and you see everyone else, when you see the higher self and yourself and everything as a separation. And non-duality is when you see everything as one, as one perfect harmonic, harmonic, perfect harmony, symphony. (laughs) I speak Spanish all day, so sometimes my English words get all mixed up. And especially when you're working also to be more connected, it's strange because you turn your mind off (laughs) and then it's hard to remember certain words or how to pronounce them. And it's kind of funny actually. But just learning to, to just be, just have that presence, just feel everything around you, just accept each, you know, it seems like a blow that life, you know, sends your way at times. It seems sometimes like life is working against us, you know, there's moments when everything just flows and it's incredible and then there's moments when everything is stuck and it doesn't matter what you do, it's difficult and complicated. And that is where we have to just keep practicing. Keep practicing your meditation. Keep practicing, you know, a couple times a day. Work with the meditation. I always like to start my day with the meditation, even if it's just five or ten minutes. And then if I have time, you know, do the meditation for the videos. And then in the evening, try to do a meditation before I go to sleep where... I'm protecting my mind and I'm asking before I fall asleep, I'm asking my mind to help me and teach me and have experiences in the dream state that'll help my evolution and my consciousness and my awareness. I connect myself before I go to sleep and that way there are no bad dreams and nightmares and strange feelings when you wake up in the morning. And sometimes we do go through certain like cleansing of energies and we do have moments in the night when, you know, we start, um, you know, getting those vibes, start processing energy. And that's just another thing we have to just allow the feelings, allow the emotion to be there, but realize that you are not the emotion. You are the energy that is feeling and seeing the emotion. You are the energy that is observing in your mind, the thoughts, and it is all one. And it's not just presence. It's it's omnipresence. <laughs> it's, it's an all time, all present state. And as you go through your life, you become more and more consciously aware of bringing that presence into every moment, bringing that presence into every thought, every feeling, every situation. And at some point, you're actually able to be in that almost meditative state at every moment in your life. And there's always going to be challenges. You're always going to be working through different issues, emotional things. There's always going to be processing happening and challenges. But at some point when you keep practicing, you're able to pass through the days and say, wow, it's been a while since, you know, I've had struggles and challenges, but it's a while since I've really lost it. I've really, really, you know, had those dark night of the soul moments, you know, that can be just devastating. But once you release and process all that inf- that energy and all the feeling and all that release all the traumas and all those um you know energetic blocks that you have inside your being then you get to a place where you find that it just is not as common to have those moments and little by little there's a huge reward for doing this work and it just means getting up every day watching videos doing your meditation listening to different mentors, connecting with videos like this where you connect with like-minded people that are on that frequency, that are explaining how they did it, how it feels. And then sooner or later, you get to a place and it is so worth it. It is so beautiful to live your life because you start trusting yourself. You start trusting your process. You start trusting that it doesn't matter what happens. Even the worst situations, you will be okay You know that you're little by little, you're able to handle those difficult challenges in life more and more and things get a little easier and you start to actually live your life, enjoy your life in a way more alive being. 
just being state. So keep practicing, keep practicing every day.